so I'm going to clear something up here real quick before I start the video. Um, Valkyrie is not a man. I repeat, she is not a man. Now, if you have honestly no idea what I'm talking about right there, let me just try and sum it up for you real quick. Okay, get down. People think that Valkyrie is a man because she joined the Navy SEALs while they weren't accepting women. I'm going to prove in this video that that statement is false and then also I got some really cool other interesting facts about Valkyrie and her lore like how Valkyrie actually teamed up and saved Cavi. Hey everybody, Jep here and today we're going to be going over the amazing lore and secrets behind Valkyrie and her bio. She is one of the most skillful and badass operators in Siege and I honestly can't wait to get into this video. Now throughout the video if you learn something new or you just find yourself having a good time make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help the channel out all right now let's get right into the video let's start things off how valkyrie was born in the beautiful coastal city of oceanside california on july 21st 1986 making her 33 years old as of today valkyrie's real name is megan castellano and she is five foot seven 134 pounds now valkyrie came from a really strong household where her father was a respected colonel in the marine corps now her mom was also a genius she was a researcher at a biotech company that was really close to her house now having parents like this is really no surprise that Valkyrie really excelled and was very proficient when it came to math and science when she's in school. Not only that, but she was also an athletic prodigy. When Valk wasn't at the army base hanging out with her father doing some physical training, she spent the rest of her time at the Olympic sized swimming pool where she was absolutely crushing in the 200 meter breaststroke. The 200 meter breaststroke is the part of the swimming competitions in the Olympics. Now during Valk's childhood and her schooling, she was actually a aspiring Olympic athlete, but all her dreams and aspirations came crashing down where unfortunately Unfortunately, at the age of 16, she was in a terrible car accident which left her with a broken arm. She had to give up swimming after that because she was nowhere near as proficient as what she used to be, which really devastated her. So with her goals of her becoming a swimming Olympian gone, she now shifted her career path towards the military and actually enlisted in the Navy in the early 2000s. Now she completed her first four years in the Navy and actually used the GI Bill to join a university in computer sciences. She ended up graduating and specialized in security and cryptography which led her to be transferred to the Information Dominance Corps of the Navy. Now, a really notable event that happened to Valkyrie while she was in the Navy is in 2007, her and Ella teamed up in Operation Orange Sky. Now, Valk teamed up with Ella as her, like, go-to intel operator. Ella, along with Valk's superior intel, single-handedly took down a terrible warlord without even harming a single civilian. Now, this is actually so cool to me because this means that Valk and Ella knew each other way before they even became members of Team Rain. Now, this is the part of the video where I go over why a lot of people in the Siege community think that Valk is maybe possibly not even a woman. This is due to Valk being a member of the Navy SEALs in 2016. This would be an issue except in real life, like IRL, the Navy SEALs just started accepting women into the program in 2016. But the thing is though, is that Valk joined Team Rainbow in 2016 as well, and she was already a Navy SEAL. So it actually takes quite a while to officially become a Navy SEAL, like graduate from the training and become a Navy SEAL. So for Valk to have actually graduated in 2016, she would have had it started the training beforehand, which training was not allowed for women in real life before 2016. So there are some inconsistencies here. So we're left with one of two options here. One, Valk is secretly a man and has never once been caught in the SEALs. I find this to be highly, highly unlikely because number one, she still portrays herself and acts as a woman. So in 2016, she simply would have not been able to join she would have been better off if she were a man she would have been better off to just not dress up as a girl or portray herself as a girl because that she would just been let right in what i think is actually more likely is the second option which is ubisoft just messed up on her bio so since the season where blackbeard and valkyrie came out in 2016 ubisoft probably just didn't know that it actually took a while to become a navy seal and she simply just wouldn't have been able to start training in 2016 finish the training and graduate to become a Navy SEAL and then be recruited into Team Rainbow all in the same year of 2016. That simply just cannot happen. So I really do think Ubisoft just must have messed up with their bio and then us, the Siege community, we dive in there and nitpick everything. So I think they just messed up. Oh yeah, and I also forgot to say that during Valkyrie's training to become a Navy SEAL, she met Blackbeard, which his real name is actually Craig Jensen. Now she met him because he was actually one of her instructors during the notorious Hell Week for 
um, Navy SEAL training. Now they together were offered a position to join Team Rainbow in 2016. Now a really, really cool piece of lore that happened in 2019 is that Valkyrie and Twitch teamed up with Ghost Recon to save Caviera, which gone completely AWOL, completely crazy, looking for her captured brother in Bolivia. Now I don't want to spoil too, too much of this story because I actually go a lot more in depth with this on my Caviera lore video that I did a little while ago. So I'll try to remember to put like a card in the corner or a link in the description or something to remind you guys to go check out the Caviera lore video I did because I really like that video as well. And it goes a little more in depth on why Cavi found herself in Bolivia and why she needed rescuing of um, Ghost Recon, Twitch, and Valkyrie. What I will say in this video though is that tensions between Caviera and Valkyrie are like really, really tense and they butt heads a lot due to this mission in Bolivia. Oh man, I really shouldn't have shaved my entire face because now I look like a 12 year old with absolutely no facial hair on me. I seriously look like I'm like 12. Why did I do that? Now during this psychological report that Harry does with the new cadets of Team Rainbow, he goes over how he thinks that Valkyrie doesn't really fit too well or she's kind of off put a lot due to the sheer amount of talent of all the other operators on Team Rainbow. Okay guys, pause the video for a second real quick. I'm sorry that the lighting is all bad. I don't feel like setting up the studio lights or turning on the lights behind me, but I was sitting here editing the video and I, I have to show you guys what happened. Okay, watch this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Ready? Rainbow. In case you didn't, in case you didn't know about <laughs> What was I doing right there? Look. In case you didn't. <laughs> In case you dig, in case you Oh my god. In case you dig, in case In case you dig, in case, in case you dig, in case you dig. I don't know how I even did that. Oh my god, look at my face too when I do it. In case you dig. <laughs> I like close my eyes and back up. In case you dig, in case you <laughs> Oh God, that was so funny. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing it here. I just thought that was hilarious and I need to show you guys it because I was honestly dying when I was editing this. All right, back to the video. Sorry about that. In case you guys didn't know, Harry is the director of Team Rainbow, like the boss, the leader, the go-to man for Team Rainbow. So back to why Harry believes Valkyrie is really put off about all the operators is that Valkyrie is actually really used to being the top tier of anything that she does. Kind of like how Ace, the new hard breacher in Siege, he was really used to being like top tier, the best at everything he did. His operator lore video I did as well. So same thing with Valkyrie. She's used to being the best. So when she's surrounded by people who are as good, if not better in some capabilities than Valkyrie, it kind of puts her off. Like she doesn't really know how she feels about it. Harry also says that in person, Valkyrie is actually very polite. Her manners are really good. Uh, she's just very polite. But then when Harry goes over to read the mission reports that Valkyrie did when she was in the Navy or the SEALs, he says that she's a very, very aggressive person and maybe isn't as polite as what she appears to be during the psychological report. Harry also says that he worries for Valkyrie because she's kind of a hermit. Like she doesn't really hang out with any Anybody. She kind of keeps to herself and besides going on missions and operations She doesn't do any traveling at all mostly because she grew up and lives in the beautiful city of Oceanside, California So really any other places she probably doesn't really care for too much while Valkyrie has been a member of team rainbow She enlisted in helicopter pilot school inspired by Mira along with that She is also enrolled in language classes with Habana and castle So normally during the gadget evaluation phase of the cadet process It's usually another member of team Team Rainbow who inspects the new cadet's gadget for ways to improve it, inconsistencies, reliability, like it's usually another operator that does it. But this go around, Valkyrie actually did the device evaluation on her own gadget. Now she actually says she's really, really excited and happy to be the, like the leading person to really improve the intel divisions of Team Rainbow. Now she compares her gadget, the Gyro Cam MK2 with Maestro's Evil Eye, but she does say that Maestro's Evil Eye has different stabilizer designs than hers. And then she also says that she believes that her cameras offer the best quality and diversity to gather real-time information out of any other operators gadgets in siege and honestly i might just have to agree with her i do believe that Valkyrie probably has the best Intel device. So, um, you know, she's pretty braggy and she even says that in her bio that she's like, it, it might be braggy, but I don't care. So Valkyrie, you did it. Yeah, you got the best one. Well, that's all I got for you. Now it's your turn to tell me something. Did you think it was cool that Valkyrie was almost an Olympic swimmer? Or were you one of the people that believed that Valkyrie is a man? You can let me know by leaving a comment down below. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe with notifications if you're new. Now, with all that being said, Jeppy! out.